In this video, we will learn how to save waveform configuration file and simulation database with signals and their values. So now, if let's say if you want to save this waveform configurations with all these multiple cursors and this waveform um, virtual groups and signals inside that, what you need to do is go to waveform and make sure that your waveform window is your focused current window. Now go to waveform and select save to macro and here you can save dot to macro file which will save your all of your configurations so let's rename this to wave dot do click OK so now inside the file browser when you click refresh you will see that uh, newly generated file uh, wave dot do here when you open this wave dot do you can see all the commands which uh, adds all the signals into waveform file it opens waveform and adds all the signals into waveform file it creates a virtual group and even it stores uh, your cursor locations and name of your cursors here. So now let's see how you can utilize this file. So let's end our simulation here. And the most efficient way is when you use this vsim command in your simulations, what you can do is you can have do wave.do here after vsim command and save the do.do file. So now the next time when you want to have that waveform configurations, you can just execute the script here. So, which will execute this do wave dot do, and it will load all the signals, all the virtual group, and all the cursors at the locations where you had before, the, the way you have saved before. Now, what you need to do is just to run all in your console, and you'll have your same configuration like that. So that's the one way to save your configurations only. Now, let's say if you want to save your simulation database with all the signals and value of those signals. Then make sure that waveform window, again waveform window is your current focus window. And then go to waveform and select save waveform snapshot. And in, in this uh, save waveform snapshot you can, give, let's give a, uh, rename this waveform snapshot. To data underscore snapshot. And when you click OK. As you can see in this file browser here, it saves data underscore snapshot dot awc. That means waveform configuration file and uh, data set uh, underscore data underscore snapshot dot esdb. That's your simulation data which stores all the signal values and signal information here. So let's say if you want to see those uh, signals uh, database here. So now in this data set viewer you can load the newly generated data set that's data set date underscore data underscore snapshot here and then you can have multiple data set here so let's remove this undock this hierarchy viewer here so if you click on simulation one your hierarchy viewer will be sourced from simulation one database so whatever the whichever this simulation database is selected here your hierarchy viewer will source your entire hierarchy from that simulation database so if you click like uh, seam here then it will source from the same Thank you for watching this video.